hitting the mark. Hi, I'm Steve Luttrell, your hair loss consultant, and welcome to my channel, The Real Deal, where I talk about your hair loss, why you've lost your hair, and is there anything you can do to get it back. Okay, so today, we're gonna to be talking about hitting the mark. Now, this is a request from one of my viewers, Jonathan, a shout out to Jonathan, and thanks a lot, and hopefully soon we'll be able to get this class going that you want, and uh, get you down here to Florida, and work out any kinks that you might have uh, in your hair replacement and with your clients, all right, guy? So, but until then, this is your request of how to hit the mark on the hairline for the client. And this is helpful also to the DIYer out there that's taking care of their own hair at home and uh, putting it on. So, so this is called hitting the mark, guys. And, uh, and it's really important to get that every single time on, on point, on spot, uh, because a sixteenth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch makes a huge difference in the hairline and the presentation. And then also, if your system has been custom cut to your hair loss area, if you put it too far forward, you're gonna have a smiley face in the back because it's gonna be too far up. So it's not gonna cover everything in the back. So it's really, again, it's important that you get that mark on point. Okay, all right, so one of the few simple things that I could probably teach you that really when I first started doing this, I was like, you gotta be kidding me, really? Um, but after 20 some years in this industry, uh, 25 years in the industry, this is a tried and true, constant, consistent denominator, all right? And it's called the four finger. And what I mean by four fingers is, this is how you find your client's hairline or where the hair system is going to sit on the forehead. All right, um, so now, a lot of times when people read or they talk, they'll say, okay, it's four fingers from the brow, okay? Well, it's, it's not the eyebrow, it's the brow. The brow is actually just below the eyebrow. It's where the curvature and the nose and the forehead meet, okay? So that's actually the brow. So you wanna actually do four fingers sideways and up, and it should meet the edge of the hair system right there. That's the perfect dead-on spot for your client and or for your own hair to set if you're doing your own hair system at home. Um, and again, if I didn't teach people this for many, many years and have many students that came into the class and obviously I've had tall ones, short ones, but I'll tell you what, people's four fingers this way is pretty consistently the same. Now this way, you might have longer fingers, but this way, it's amazing. It's, it fits almost every single body. So you can pretty much always use that as your common denominator is the four finger rule. And again, it's from the brow, not the eyebrow, okay? All right, so once you've done that, I love to use an eyebrow pencil. Now, I've seen people do all kinds of things. I've seen people that have taken their fingernail and made an indention into their client's head, which that's a little too much. Um, I see people that use grease pencils and they put a grease pencil on. The problem with a grease pencil is it's black and it's not really easy to get off. And uh, so you don't wanna have to smear a grease pencil and get it into either the lay space or the skin base, whichever base you're using for your hair system. So I like a very simple white eyebrow eyeliner, okay? It's simple, it's like a waxy type product, so it really comes off very simple. And again, I use white. Um, I don't wanna use nude or some natural color because then I won't be able to see it. So the white allows me to see it. And everybody's different. Some people put one dot, some people put multiple dots around the front and leading up to the recession area of the, of the hair and your own natural growth hair. Um, but again, today we're just gonna teach you how to do a quick hit the mark every single time, all right? So again, take the thing, four fingers from the brow and take and make your mark, all right? And there we go, white makes the mark, okay? After you've done that, you wanna make sure that your hair system is combed back away 
from the front edge. You want a pretty clean work area to work with. All right. Now, if you're using a really thin skin, like a 0.03 or 0.05, they're pretty flimsy and they can move around and flop around. So you want to make sure that you know you have a good hold, and you know you want to make sure that you've got it in your hands because you want to you want to be in the right place. You don't want it crooked because you only get one chance. Once they're adhesive on here, you, you I take that back. You can get a second chance, but you very carefully have to take this thing back off with alcohol, and the chances of you ripping it are really, really, really high. So just go for one chance and try to get it the first time. All right. So the important thing is when you're doing your client's hair, this is for the professional out there, of course, is that you want to stand behind the client directly. You want to see them straight in the mirror, you want their head up, and you have to pull their head back enough that you can see that front dot, then that's what you do. You're in control here. Your client will move to where you want them to move, all right? Now, you want, what you don't want to do is you don't want to try to do this from the side. If you try to do this from the side, I guarantee you, you're going to be sideways when you put it on, okay? So once you've laid this into position and you have going down to look for the spot and you roll this back and you want to make sure you hold the edges kind of, I call it taut, not tight, but just with a little tension on it, all right? Once you've laid this down and you think it's in the right position, you want to go around to the front of the client and just stand right dead in front of them and make sure when you're standing dead in front of them that the recession areas are meeting the client's growth recession areas. All right, very important. And if that's happening, and then if your system is laying right down just behind your white dot, just like this, you hit the spot. All right? Now, if you've done that and everything looks correct, again, some people can go back in here and you might want to just for better guidelines until you get really good at this, go in here and just make a mark at the recession area, make a mark Make a mark at the recession area in the middle, two or three dots. It doesn't really matter what you want to do. Don't draw a straight line, but just use dots. That's enough. That's going to give you an area to work with. And then when you remove the system, you could then apply your adhesive up to the dots. Not going past the dots gives you a nice guideline. And then proceed to with your adhesive or your tape or however you're going to apply the hair system, okay? So again, you don't want to apply from the side. You don't want to try to view it from the side. If your you know, client wants to look at himself in the mirror, you know, make sure you turn his head. So he's looking at you directly straight on because you want this to be straight backwards down the runway. You don't want to go sideways off, off to the side because once you've laid this down, especially if it's a full bond adhesive, it's on. It's it's there for security and sometimes it's on there for a whole month. So it's on pretty good. All right, guys. Um, one thing to remember when you are going down and hitting that mark, that it might look like you're shooting for exactly that mark, but you're probably going to fall right behind it. It's just the way the brain works when we do these kind of things. When you go and you go to pinpoint something, people in their brain, for whatever reason, will just go to the other side. So, so don't try to undershoot it. Try to shoot it directly on. And if you go and shoot it directly on, I guarantee you're probably going to be just behind it. And with practice over time, you'll get better and better and better. And uh, so again, remember, start out four fingers. And again, it's not the eyebrow, it's the brow, four fingers. All right, guys? And that gets you started to get that spot every single time. And even on your own DIY, mark that spot, four fingers, guys. Now, there's always going to be people that want to argue with me and, hey, but I need it here, I need my hairline here. And, and you do have some people that, because they've gotten transplants or tattooed hairlines, that you don't really have a choice of where you can put it because the scarring or the damage determines where that hair is. And so if you have to cover that scar or those, those bad transplants and move that hairline forward, then you probably have to do it. And that's a whole nother customization of the hair system um, when you're dealing with somebody that's 
you're covering up some damage from something else, all right? All right, guys, and so that's my segment today of uh, <clears throat> hitting the mark. Jonathan, I hope this has helped you a lot and uh, maybe answered a few questions, made this a little simpler every single time you go up and address a client. And uh, again, if you have any comments, let me know in the comment section below. And if you like my show today, make sure you give me that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's how I keep going, guys. And uh, again, I'm Steve Luttrell, your hair loss consultant, and this has been The Real Deal. Have a great hair day, guys.